Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good to see you all. Okay. Let's begin. We have work to do. All right. I'm sharing the screen with you now. Right. Uh, I guess you can see it. So um, let's begin. Everybody, welcome. I'm going to call your names uh, from the attendance list now. So when you hear it, please let me know you're here. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez. Byron Rafael Avelar. Present teacher. Welcome. Carlos Roberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Welcome. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Present. Hello. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elisa Arely López Campos. Present teacher. Welcome. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Present teacher. Welcome. Gabriel Antonio Nájera Martel. I'm here. Welcome. Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Present. Welcome. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Present. Welcome. Sandra Janet Vázquez Cortés. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. Saúl Arnulfo Mengíbar Crespín. Saúl Arnulfo Mengíbar Crespín. Present, teacher. I'm here. Welcome. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. Present teacher. Welcome. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Welcome. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Welcome. Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Ok. All right, let's do this, everybody. 
This is uh, Advanced English 1. Okay, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. Once again, this is session 14, and today is September the 19th of 2023. So what are we going to do today? We're going to have a review on the topic that we studied yesterday, and that's the one we have here. You have reduced time clauses. So first, a little bit of the same we watched, I mean, we, we, we studied yesterday. Notice how these clauses show time relationships. If the subject of the sentence doesn't change, in other words, if the subject is the same in both clauses of the sentence, clauses with right before, right after, and while can be reduced. For example, you can say, after I finished my workout, I head to the office, or after finishing my workout, I head to the office. So you can reduce it for two reasons. Number one, because it, it has uh, the word after. Okay, that's one. And the other one is because both clauses share the same subject and the subject is I. The second one, while I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. Or you can say while taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. And the last one, I'm not very approachable right after I wake up or I'm not very approachable right after waking up. So remember, that's, that's that's the rule right there, okay? If the time clause goes with before, after, also right before, right after, or while, you can reduce it and you can use a gerund form, an ing form, okay? If the subject in both clauses is the same, if it's different, it is not possible. Now, however, other time clauses cannot cannot usually be reduced. Those are the time clauses that start with ever since, as soon as, until, whenever, and from the moment. So take a look. You have ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. Until I have had my coffee, I'm such a grouch. Whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon. And I've been a night person from the moment I started I started college. So if you notice, in none of these sentences can you use a reduced time clause. Okay, you have to use the full time clause in this case. Because they go with these words. If they go with ever since, as soon as, until, whenever from the moment, you cannot reduce the time clause by using an ING form. Okay, so that's what we studied yesterday. But uh, something that is not in the manual and it's something that I have to share with you here, I'm going to send it to you via WhatsApp right now. Okay, just... Um, I can't find... Ah. Okay, I just sent it to you via WhatsApp. So here we go. Now, take a look. In that reduced time clause, the subject of the clause is omitted and the verb is changed to the ing form. You know this, we studied this yesterday. A time clause with before, after, or while can be reduced only if the subject in the sentence's other clause is the same. Nothing new here, okay? It's the same thing we studied yesterday, okay? If it goes with before, after, or while, and if the subject in both clauses is the same, then you can reduce it. Examples, before I go to sleep, I like to read. So you have before, and the clauses are before I go to sleep, that's the first one, and the second one is I like to read. So uh, in both clauses, the subject is the same. I in the first one and I in the second one. And also the time clause goes with before. So both conditions meet. Therefore, uh, you can use a reduced time clause. So what do you have? You have before going to sleep, I like to read. That's the reduced time clause. Okay, the second one, I like to read before going to sleep. It's the same thing, okay? Just the order of the clauses has been inverted. So I like to read before going to sleep. Before the baby goes to sleep, his mother reads to him. Now, take a look at this. In this case, you cannot reduce it because the subject in the first, uh, in the time clause is not the same as the subject in the main clause. In the time clause, you have the baby. That's the subject. The baby goes to sleep. In the second one, in the other clause, you have his mother. Two different people. So, 
you cannot use a reduced time clause. Okay, always remember that. Now, once, every time, till, which means until, as, the first, the next, the last time, and many other phrases can all, can all be used in time clauses. But time clauses beginning with these words and phrases cannot be reduced. Just like ever since, as soon as, until, whenever, and from the moment, you cannot reduce once, every time, till, as, the first time, the next time, the last time, and some other ones. Okay, so if you have these, don't reduce them. Examples. As soon as, uh, or once I drink that first cup, cup of coffee, I'm ready for the day. You can say, as soon as I drink, or once I drink. No reduction is possible. Whenever I stay out late, I have trouble getting up the next morning. Or every time I stay out late, I have trouble getting up the next morning. I always stay at the office until or till I finished all my work. No reduction. I like to watch TV while I'm eating dinner or I like to watch TV as I'm eating dinner. Same story, okay, because um, uh, the time clause does not include before, after, or while. You can't reduce it. And the last time I drank too much coffee, I, I was jittery all day. I was like totally nervous, okay? I, I could not relax. Okay, that's the meaning of jittery. So last time I drank too much coffee, I was jittery all day. Okay, I was like nervous and unable to rest. Um, all right. So uh, we're going to... Uh, Excuse me, before we continue, do you have any questions about this information that I just shared with you? Any questions right here? No questions, okay. Any questions? No questions, all right, thank you. All right, I'm just gonna call some of the names here. Is uh, Daisy Magdalena online tonight? Is Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno? Present. Welcome. Gabriela Loure? Sequeira? Bernal? Juan Eduardo Morán? Rodríguez? Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín? Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio? Okay. All right, so if there are no questions, we're going to do some exercises. Everybody, take a look. Rewrite the sentences using reduced time clauses. So, you have the first one. I usually read the newspaper while I have breakfast, okay? So, what about this exercise right here? You can reduce all the time clauses in these sentences. So, it's, it should be an easy exercise because you don't have to determine if you can reduce it or not. I'm telling you uh, in advance, it is possible to reduce the time clauses in every sentence here. Okay, so what about the first one? I usually read the newspaper while I have breakfast. If you know the answer, please raise your hand and participate for the class. Gabriel. Okay, I usually read the newspaper while having breakfast. I usually read the newspaper while having breakfast. That is correct, okay? So you have a time clause beginning with while, so that's condition number one. It's been met. And the subject is the same in both clauses, so yeah, both conditions are met. Therefore, you can reduce it. I usually read the newspaper while having breakfast. Thank you. Number two, my sister won't drink orange juice after she brushes her teeth. About number two. If you know it, please raise your hand. Carlos Dominguez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, uh, number two. Number two is my sister one drinking orange juice after the brushed her teeth. Okay, uh, one thing. You have to identify the time clause, okay? So 
what happens with the time clause? The time clause begins with uh, before, after, or while, okay? So that's the first thing that you need to find. So, oh. uh -huh. the time clause is the one that you have to reduce, mm -hmm. not the other one. So, can you, second try, uh, Carlos. Is, um, um, wondering, all right. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for participating. All right. Um, can, okay, Elizabeth. Okay. <clears throat> Let me. My sister won't drink orange juice after brushing her teeth. Yeah, my sister won't drink orange juice after brushing her teeth. What's the keyword? The keyword is after, while, or before. That's the time clause. That's the one you can reduce. Thank you, Elizabeth. Rufino, number three. She does a lot of housework before she leaves for work in the morning. Uh, she does a lot of house, housework before li uh, leaving for work in the morning. Yes, she does a lot of housework before leaving for work in the morning. That is correct. Thank you, Rufino. Very good. Number four. Power nappers work better after they sleep for a short time during the day. How about this sentence? If you know, please let me know. Ana Cecilia. Okay. Power sniper work better after they sleeping for a short time during the day. Very good, but there is one word too many right there. There is a word that is should not be included in that sentence. You 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 used an extra word. What do you think? I'll give you I a hint. Know. Okay. In the time, in the reduced time clause, the subject is omitted. You don't need to use the subject a second time. You just use the word before, after, or while, and after that, immediately, then you use the ing form of the verb. So, um, second try. Or maybe someone can help us here. Mm -hmm. Who can help us? Right now we have had the participation of Gabriel, Carlos, Elizabeth, Rufino, and Ana Cecilia. What about the rest? Where's everybody? Elmer, thank you. Uh, our Napier work better after sleeping for a short time during the day. Yeah, power nappers work better after sleeping for a short time during the day. That's right, after sleeping. There's a, that's the part. Okay, thank you, Ermer, very good. Um, what about number five? It's not, okay, all right, so we have Madeline, then Byron. Okay, Madeline. Number five. Yeah. It's not a good idea to eat anything heavy before exercising. It's, yeah, that's right. You have, it's not a good idea to eat anything, anything heavy. By the way, I skipped one word. See, heavy. Heavy. Okay. Yeah, here we go. It's not a good idea to eat anything heavy before exercising. That is correct. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, just a second. Biden, number six. 
if I listen to soft music while I study, I can concentrate better. If I listen to soft music while studying, I can concentrate better. Yeah, if I listen to soft music while studying, I can concentrate better. That's correct. Good. Um, what about number seven? After I've been in an argument, I need to be by myself for an hour or two. Gabriela Alejandra. Yes, after I've been in an argument, I need to be my, by myself for an hour or two. Can you can you repeat it, please? I'm sorry. After? Yes. After I've been in an argument, I need to be by myself for an hour or two. Okay. Uh, but the question is, you have two, two clauses right here. The first clause is, after I've been in an argument, that's the first clause. The second clause is, I need to be by myself for an hour or two. So the question, Gabriela, is which one is the time clause? The first one or the second mm -hmm. one? I think it's the second one. Okay. Uh, remember that the time clauses go with before, after, and while, um, and some other words, right? Okay, that oh. we have also studied. So which one is it? In the first one, yeah. It's the first one. Okay, so remember that you can reduce the time clause, not the other clause. So second try. Mm. Oh, I have no idea. No idea, no problem. Uh, thank you, Gabriela. Uh, Okay, um, okay, Rufino, I'm gonna give you a, uh, a chance right here. I, I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, uh, after after having, having been is uh, an argument, I need to be by, by myself for an hour to, or two. After because... having been in an argument, I need to be by myself for an hour or two. Grammatically, it is possible, but there is another way of expressing this in a simpler way. You can say after having been, but it sounds excessively complex. You can you can make it a little, a little bit easier, okay? But it's very close, Rufino. Thank you. Let's see what Gabriel has okay. to say about it. I guess it's uh, after being an argument, I need to be my, by myself for an hour or two. After being in an argument. Yeah, that's right. After being in an argument, I need to be by myself for an hour or two. Okay, thank you. And the last one, Saul, before I chill out at night, I make sure everything is ready for the morning. Okay, I'm not sure, but I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, before I chill out at night, uh, after making sure everything is ready for the morning, well, um, not really. <laughs> You're changing the sentence. Remember that the idea is not for you to add extra words. The idea is to reduce, you know, one of the clauses. And it's the time clause that you need to reduce. So um, what is the time clause in here? You have two clauses. The first one is before I chill out at night. And the second one is I make sure everything is ready for the morning. So you have two clauses. Which one is the time clause? Open question. Anybody can answer. First one. Uh, who said that? Gabriel. Okay. Thank you, Gabriel. So uh, before I chill out at night, the first one, that's the time clause because it begins with the word before. Okay. So that's the one that we can reduce. It is not necessary to add any other words. So what, what do we have? Who wants to try the last one? Please raise your hand. Come on, let's participate. I know you know the answer. Um, Elmer and then Gabriel. I think, teacher, before 
filling out at night. I make sure everything is ready for the morning. Before chilling out at night, I make sure everything is ready for the morning. That is correct. Okay, very good. All right, here we go. Uh, next exercise, there's another one that I would like you to do. It's right here. Now, this exercise is a bit more difficult. Okay, combine the sentences using the words in parentheses. Use reduced clauses wherever possible. Okay, so that means in some on some occasions you can use them, on some other occasions you can't, but you need to determine that. Remember, to do this, the time clause should begin with before, after, or while, or right before, right after. And also the subject in both clauses must coincide. I mean, it must be the same. Only when the two conditions are met, can you reduce the time clause? You, there's an example. Classes are over for the day. First sentence. I often go out with my friends. And then you have after. So after classes are over for the day, I often go out with my friends. Okay. So you have a time clause with after. However, the subject here, which is classes, is not the same as the subject in the second one. And the subject is I. So in one is clauses and the other one is I. So no reduction is possible. You can't do it. What about number two? I lost my watch, period. I've been late for all my appointments. And then in parentheses, you have ever since. Who wants to give it a try? Mm-hmm. I lost my watch. I've been late for all my appointments. Perdí mi reloj. He llegado tarde a todas mis citas. Gabriela, Alejandra. Yes. Uh, ever since I lost my watch, I've been late for all my appointments. That is correct. Ever since I lost my watch, I've been late for all my appointments. No reduction is possible here because you're using ever since. And when you use ever since, no reduction is possible. So yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Gabriela. Number three, you should relax and count to 10. That's the first sentence. Second sentence, you start to feel stress. Then you have as soon as. Gabriel Antonio. Um, you should relax and count to 10 as soon as you start to feel stressed. That is correct. Thank you. You should relax and count to 10 as soon as you start. As soon as you feel stress. I made a mistake here. As soon as you start to feel stress. Uh, start to feel stress. So, sorry. Okay, now that's the one. Thank you. So you should relax and count to 10 as soon as you start to feel stressed. Okay, good. Thank you, Gabriel. Number four, I go for a run. That's the first sentence. I stretch for at least 15 minutes. That's the second sentence. And in parentheses, you have right before. So how about this one? Who can help us with this one right here? Hay algunos que solo cuando me dicen presente, principio de la clase, les escucho la voz. De ahí toda la clase, nada, nada, nada. Ok. Les invito a tratar de participar siempre. Ok. Para hablar en idioma es necesario producir. Si no, no aprendemos bien. Ana Cecilia. I try, teacher. Ok. That's the idea. Try... <laughs> uh, before I go for a room, I stretch for at least 15 minutes. That is good. <laughs> but there is one more thing you can do. Take a look. The instructions go like this. Combine the sentences using the words in parentheses, mm -hmm. which you did. And it was good. By the way, your sentence is grammatically correct. But you have this, use reduced clauses wherever possible. 
So the question is, Ana Cecilia, is it possible to reduce the time clause here? I think, teacher, I think so. You think so? Okay, let's give it a try. Um, I go for a room. Let's let's go. Sorry, let's let's go back to what you had before. So you just told me this, okay? Uh, right before I go for a run. I stretch, stretch, okay, for at least 15 minutes. Okay, so this is the answer that you gave me, right? This is what you said before. Right before I go for a run, I stretch for at least 15 minutes. So you have two clauses. The first one is right before I go to for a run, and the second one is I stretch for at least 15 minutes. To reduce the time clause, it should begin with before, after, right before, right after, or while. And also, the subject in both clauses must be the same. So you said in this case that you believe it is possible to reduce the time clause. Okay, so how will you do it, Ana Cecilia? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing is for you to identify which one is the time clause. Which one is it? Is it right before I go for a run or I stretch for at least 15 minutes? I stretch for at least 15 minutes. Remember that the time clauses include the words before, after, or while. So which one is the time clause? I don't know, teacher. No problem. Okay, thank you, Ana Cecilia. No, but, but again, your answer is grammatically correct. But there is one more thing that we can do with it. Who wants to help us here? Um, uh, let's go with, okay, <laughs> Elizabeth del Carmen. <laughs> thank you, Elizabeth. I tried, teacher. Okay, let's give it a try. Right before going for a room, I stretch for at least 50 minutes. That is correct. Right before going for a run. That's it. Now you have a reduced time clause. Right before going for a run, I stretch for at least 15 minutes. Good. That's right. Very, very good. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, number five, you shouldn't listen to music. First sentence, second sentence, you are studying for a big test. And then you have while. Uh, Rufino. I am going Byron. to try. Okay. I am going to try. If if, if not, I'm helping me, Byron. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Byron is your backup man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You shouldn't listen to music uh, while you oh, are studying, studying for a big test. Okay, so all right, let's let's write it here. Um, you shouldn't correct, correct. listen to you music should. while you are studying. Studying a big, for, for a, a big, big test. Big test. Yeah. Okay. Your sentence is correct, but mm -hmm. is it possible to reduce the time clause, Rufino? I, 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 you shouldn't listen to music. Um, while, while being. Use the main the main verb, not the auxiliary. Uh -huh. When you say are studying, which one is the main verb? The verb be or the verb study? Uh, 
uh, study. Study. Okay, so uh, how can you reduce this? You shouldn't listen to music while while studying for a big test. While studying for a big test, that is correct. Okay, you shouldn't listen to music while studying for a big test. So yeah. You can reduce it because it begins with the word while and also because the subject is the same in both clauses. You have you and in the other one, you also have you. So yeah, you can do it. Thank you. Number Thank six, you. Byron, I watch TV, I fall asleep. What do you have? I watch TV until I fall asleep. That's right. I watch TV until I fall asleep. That's it. You cannot reduce it. Okay, good. All right, everybody. Very, very good. Thank you for your participation. Let us continue. Now, pair work. Complete the sentences with information about yourself. I'm going to give you five minutes for you to do this activity individually. Then discuss your answers with a partner. So the first one, while working, working on a really difficult task, what do you do? You listen to music, you uh, drink tea or drink coffee, you, I don't know. What do you do while working on a really difficult task? Number two, I become really frustrated whenever, for example, I become really frustrated whenever uh, they give me a task and they don't give me enough time to do it. Okay, then I become fr frustrated. Number three, I don't feel awake in the morning until... I have had breakfast or until I have had coffee or until I see my best friend. I don't know. Okay. Uh, whenever I have trouble sleeping, I listen to music. I play computer games. I et cetera, et cetera. You decide. Number five, I can never concentrate after. I can never concentrate after, I don't know, watching uh, an action movie. Just to give you an idea, right? Um, from the moment I wake up in the morning, okay, I feel very sleepy. Just, just to mention something. After I've stayed out too late, I have trouble sleeping or I feel very sleepy the next day. And I take a nap whenever I feel sleepy or whenever I have the opportunity or whenever uh, I finish uh, work. So, or whenever I'm riding the bus. Okay, I don't know. So I want you to, I'm going to give you five minutes or at least six minutes okay because there are eight sentences i'm going to give you six minutes for you to uh complete these sentences with your own ideas okay complete the sentences with information about yourself and after that you are going to share that information with the class so everybody let's do this let's begin six minutes begin right now
Gabriela. Teacher, sorry, I just want to, to ask you if at the end of this class, can we review um, the, the answers of the, of the exam on the platform? Because some of us, uh, we're having some problems to, with, with some questions. Okay, but, okay, but there's, a it, lot of there's a lot of information. I no, mean, if, uh, if you can see the chat, uh, WhatsApp is just one or two or two topics. Which ones are they? Um, let me see. It is the in the section four final test complete complete sentence. Uh, the answer of the question six in the part one. The transportation system. Let me see. It doesn't allow to to put the the word. We'll see. We'll see. That is. I'm going to check. It says that no need of uh, capital letters or periods, but I try to put in many uh, ways. I, I got it. Let me check. Number six and part one. Okay. Just give me a second because the platform is taking a long time. Yeah. Just a moment. Still loading. Okay, finally. Um, so you say you said part B, combined yeah. sentences. No. Part C. Part C. Part one, question six. Okay. It says it's easier to get around in a city that has an efficient transportation system is the answer, but mm -hmm. it should be the answer. It should be, but <laughs> but it is not in the end. I mean, it, it is it is the right answer. Okay. However, uh, if you want it right, don't use the word transportation. Only use the word system. Okay. If you give it a try, you will see. It will work. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> You're welcome. Any other exercise? I think the other ones we answer already answered it on, on the chat. Okay, you have figured it out. Okay, good. All right then. We're going to uh, review that on Thursday also. Okay, but I'm, I'm glad I, I could help. Um, all right, we only have one more minute. Teacher, the answer is only system. Yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, time's up. Let's hear uh, your sentences. Okay, uh, number one, who wants to participate? Byron. While working on a really difficult task, I was listening to music to avoid the stress. So yeah, while working on a really difficult task, 
I listen to music to avoid stress. Okay, because this is what you what you habitually do. Okay, so I uh, listen. I listen to music. Press listen simple. to music. Okay. Press and simple okay, because it, it's about a habit. Okay, thank you. So while working on a really difficult task, I listen to music to avoid stress. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. Number two, um, let's let's participate. Who can help us with number two? Number two, who wants to try? Come on, don't be shy, Gabriel. I become really frustrated whenever uh, there is too much traffic. I become really frustrated whenever there is too much traffic. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I understand. So yeah, yeah, I can relate to that. I become really frustrated whenever there is too much traffic or whenever there is a lot of traffic. Good. Number three, volunteers, please. Rufino, siempre los mismos, siempre los mismos. Tenemos ahí un, un problemita, que siempre las mismas personas participan y hay otros que no participan jamás. Vamos, les invito a participar, ¿de acuerdo? Si usted quiere aprender a nadar, tiene que tirarse a la piscina. ¿verdad? Si quiere aprender a hablar inglés bien, pues anímese a hablar también, ¿verdad? Ok, Rufino, thank you. I'm going to try and uh, I... The no three, huh? that's what this is three. Yes. yes, number three. I I don't feel awake in the morning until I take breakfast. I don't feel awake in the morning until I, I take breakfast or until I have breakfast. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> so before that, you are like <laughs> falling asleep. So yeah, I don't feel awake in the morning <laughs> until I have breakfast. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Number four. Whenever I have trouble sleeping, what do you do whenever you have trouble sleeping? Uh huh. Saul, thank you, Saul. Okay, I'm going to complete. Uh, whenever I have trouble sleeping, I listen to music every night. Okay, whenever I have trouble sleeping, I listen to music, you know, every single time that happens. Okay, sounds good. I don't usually have trouble sleeping. <laughs> I usually just like lay in my bed and just, you know, fall asleep. So lie in my bed, sorry, fall asleep. Okay, uh, number five. Uh, thank you, Saul, number five. Uh, Saul, do you wanna participate again? Yeah, I would like okay. to participate in that sentence. Okay. okay. Uh... I can never concentrate after having problems with my girlfriend. <laughs> I can never <laughs> concentrate reality. after after yeah, having a problem. Difficult. Okay. When we All have right. problems. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. You sound like a young man, okay? It's well, it's, it's going to happen more and more. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> um yeah, I I can never concentrate after having uh an argument with my girlfriend. You say, okay. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Also, you reduced it, which is possible in this case. And yeah, uh, very good. Number six. Who wants to try? Don't be shy. Miguel, thank you. From the moment I wake up in the morning, starting my day with a uh, Positive mind. From the moment I wake up in the morning, I start my day with a positive mind, a positive attitude, right? Sounds good. Okay, thank you, Miguel. All right, thank you for participating. Number seven. After I've stayed out too late, like when you go out and you go back home at 11, at midnight, at one in the morning. Okay, so what happens? After I stayed out too late, what happens? Who wants to try? Who wants to participate?
You don't participate because you never go out <laughs> at night. Okay, Gabriel. After I've stayed out late, my mother always gets angry with me. <laughs> After I stayed out too late, my mom gets angry with me. Of course, my mom always gets angry with me. Okay, sounds good. Or angry at me, also possible. Thank you, Gabriel. And the last one, I take a nap whenever. When do you take naps? Gabriela Sequeira. I take a nap whenever I had the opportunity. <laughs> whenever I have the opportunity. Okay. But not during class, right? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I take a nap whenever I have the opportunity. Okay. Sounds good. In my case, um, I usually take a nap while I'm on the bus. For example, I take a nap. I also take a nap right after lunch. I mean, I usually have like an hour for lunch, but I eat like in 30 minutes. So in the other 30 minutes, I try to take a nap. That's what I do. Just just like you, whenever I have the opportunity and, uh, and it doesn't really interrupt my uh, everyday duties and responsibilities. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for your participation, everybody. Uh, moving on. We don't have much time now. We have less than 10 minutes, but uh, we're going to go over the vocabulary, vocabulary and speaking. So energy and sleep. Okay, that's what we have now. Energy and sleep. Match the phrasal verb in the question with the correct definition. So you have some questions on the left. Okay. And every question right there contains a phrasal verb. You have studied phrasal verbs before, I'm pretty sure. But uh, the thing with phrasal verbs is that there are so many, and I'm talking about thousands of phrasal verbs, not even hundreds, thousands of phrasal verbs, that people even make dictionaries. You know, special dictionaries about phrasal verbs. I have one, but I don't have it here. But I have one, okay? It's a physical dictionary. Um, and it's pretty cool because it contains all definitions, uh, alternative definition. It also has uh, illustrations and everything. It's actually pretty nice. So um, it's it's virtually impossible to know them all, but at least you can get familiar with the most common ones. And that's the idea right here. I want you to get familiar with these phrasal verbs. So there are questions, and then uh, I want you to tell me what each phrasal verb means. The definitions are on the right. So how about number one? Okay, uh, do you ever burn out from too much work? What's the meaning of burn out? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or H? What do you think? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Do you ever burn out from too much work? the burnout effect you have probably heard about it at work what is that gabriel i have an idea i guess it's letter d lose all your energy that idea is right yeah that means lose all your energy that is correct when you burn out you lose all your energy you just you, you don't want to continue you go like no 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 more that's it i can't continue i don't have energy and i don't want to do it okay you burn out that's that's the thing so uh, thank you, Gabriel. Number two, how do you calm down after an argument? What is calm down? Now, this one is easier. What is calm down? Should be easy to find. <laughs> who, wants to, who wants to participate? If you want to participate, please raise your hand. What's the definition of calm down? Gabriela, Alejandra. Uh, to relax. Uh, to relax, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You calm down, you relax. So which of the definitions on the right will you use? A, B, C, E, F, G, or H? Hey. hey, yeah, that's right. Okay. How do you calm down after an argument? Calm down means become calm. Okay. That's right. You relax. Okay. You, you count to 10. So uh, thank you, Gabriela. Number three, how do you chill out 
after a rough day. How about this one? Ana Cecilia. Go to the bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Yeah. Well, no, sorry. The meaning is not go to bed. It's a bit different. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, another opinion? Who wants to try? What is the meaning of chill out? Okay, Gabriel. Letter F, take it easy. Yeah, that's right. It is take it easy. Okay, chill out means take it easy. It's another way of, you know, saying that you relax. How do you relax after a rough day? How do you chill out? How do you relax? So F, letter F, take it easy after a long day. Okay, good. Thank you. Number four, do you drop off quickly after you go to bed? What's the meaning of drop off? Biden. It's letter E. That is correct. Letter E means fall asleep. Now, you know that a phrase or verbs can have more than one uh, meaning. Okay. So, well, you yeah, have drop, drop off. Okay. That's the first one. Uh, drop off again means a uh, fall asleep. Okay. That's the meaning of that. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Number five, how do you perk up after you feel sleepy? How do you perk up after you feel sleepy? How about this one? Wants to try. Gabriela. Letter B, find more energy. That is correct. Okay, how do you find more energy when you feel sleepy? That's right. Thank you. For the next one, number six, do you race off as soon as class is over? What's the meaning of race off? What is the meaning of race off? Gabriela. Hurry up, go quickly. Go no, quickly. Today. Yeah, that's right. It's letter H. Go quickly. Do you go quickly? Okay, after the class is over. Good. Thank you. Number seven. How often do you sleep over at a friend's, a friend's house? So what's the meaning of sleep over? What do you have? How often do you sleep over at a friend's, a friend's house? Gabriel. Stay for the night. Stay Better for the be. night. That's correct. You sleep over at the friend's house. Okay. Very good. And the last one, what time do you turn in on the weekend? Turn in is the last one. The only one left is letter C, go to bed. When you turn in, you go to bed. Okay. Um, I want you to, I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp because I want you to study this. Tomorrow, we're going to discuss it a little bit before we begin.
Okay, you have the meanings. Please study the meanings. Okay, so we can, you know, have a little conversation tomorrow. Before we go, uh, let me call attendance for the last time. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Is Daisy online tonight? Daisy Magdalena. Okay. Juan Eduardo Moran Rodriguez. Yes, thank you, Chair. Okay. Thank you. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespin. Present, sir. Welcome. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Wendy Carolina Calderón. All right, everybody. Remember, where can the exercises in the platform? Okay, this is the last week. And um, we'll continue tomorrow. Everybody, thank you for your attention. And uh, thank you for joining the meeting. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night. Take good care.